So here we have uh, a lightweight contest, uh, contest between uh, Darren Sison and um, Tez Wogan, who's actually uh, taken some time out from his Radio 2 show to be with us today. We've got Darren fighting out of KLF Martial Arts and uh, he has an MMA and BJJ fighting background. Tez fighting from Burton Grindhouse and they're straight in here. Throwing uh, punching and kicks to the body. Darren looking very relaxed there. Only catches uh, Teddy catches a single leg and taking that into guard. When uh, Andy Sledge actually announced this, uh, he said that Tess was five foot four. Uh, do you think he was measured in his heels, Dave? Yeah, I don't think the height um, will affect him, the reach difference in this fight. I think um, with the amateur striking, it doesn't make that much of a difference. On top now, he's uh, controlling things, not really working to pass guard. I'd like, to, I'd like to see Darren here looking for uh, looking for some missions a little more, opening his guard up, and working for things. In amateur fights with no striking, they need to be working for submissions constantly. And it looks like he's climbing the legs up now, maybe maybe looking for an armbar. Tez is doing quite a good job of staying compact on the ground, isn't he? Yeah. Good work there from the referee standing him up, there's not a whole lot going on. With the length of these rounds, the uh, referees will look for quick stands, and uh, yet again he catches it. He's, he's in quite a good position, being in short, uh, uh, to catch that leg as it comes in. Yeah, he's, he's looking for well that single leg. leg. Well, good defence there. A few of those look to be going into the head, I don't, I don't know whether the referee might mention that. Both fighters having a look now. I think Tez may have been hurt by a couple of those um, those knees because he's looked to back off a bit from the striking. I think it could be right. Good body shot, taking some breaths there. Good strikes coming from the body, knees and punches. Darren should uh, separate here, I feel, and uh, carry on with the striking. It's working. I don't know why he's engaged. He's given his neck there for a guillotine. I, a strange position to do it from. I don't know how tight that is. Uh, Hard to see from this angle how deep it is. Um, don't look a good position for Darren for You need Darren's corner shouting good advice. There's 30 seconds left before the end. I think if uh, if this isn't finished quick yet again, the, the referee will stand them up if he's not if he's not lucky to finish it. I think he looks a little bit um, unsure of how to finish it from that, that position. Looks like a fairly loose front headlock to be honest. Uh, using the cage there, good reversal from Darren. And he's gonna finish strongly yet again. He's uh, he's working away at that side of the body. And is it that? Those body shots have really took some toll on uh, on Tez. Who would you give that round to then, Dave? 
I'd definitely give that round to, to Darren. He, he was really doing some damage to them strikes and he's, he's worn um, Tez away against the side of the cage. Although there was um, a, a slight submission attempt from, um, from Tez, it was nowhere near being finished. I, I do think Darren should have continued to strike rather than uh, going for the takedown, but maybe with the scoring these days, a lot of fighters do look for the takedown to win the round. Uh, as well as the striking, the, the takedown does get them the round. Yeah, I'd agree with that, but uh, I think uh, if Darren keeps working on those strikes, there's a good chance of a strike uh, body shot stoppage, maybe a TKO stoppage, which is fairly rare in these amateur competitions. Yeah. So coming out for round two, both fighters look ready to come out. Darren looking very relaxed and hardly breathing. Yeah, I think I might have been wrong earlier when I said the um, the high advantage wouldn't make a difference. I really think the, the strikes coming in from Darren are what's taking the sway in the fight in his direction. Again, nice straight shots. Ted's turning his back for a second there. It seems wide open for these body shots that uh, Darren's throwing. He, he picks them quite nicely, he's fairly sharp. Yeah, mixing up um, kicks and punches as well. Looks relaxed as he's doing his own. That's a good knee to the body too. Wonder, wonder how long uh, Tess can take these for. I don't know, but he is taking them and he's, he's winced away from a few of those shots there. Nice knees. I like how he puts his punches together. This really, he could get a stoppage here from this. The referee might want to jump in soon, he's uh, really... I, I now, separate now and punch. Uh, yeah, he, he should be... Keep keep punching to that body, keep punching to those ribs. The left side of uh, Tez's body has really took some damage in this fight. Yeah, he's, do, he's doing it now, I think he'll let him stand back up and work away at the body again. Yeah, he's going to go straight for that body, he's looking to finish this. Oh, and Tez catches the leg. He's reversed to his back, I think he's very tired and those body shots have took the toll. So we've got Darren in, almost in mount here, he's gonna, he, just, he needs to slide that foot through but he's, he's pretty much secured that position. I don't see Tess escaping from here. He's so far he's been a very, very dominant performance from Darren, I think he's doing really well. I've been quite impressed with him, uh, for an amateur fighter he's, he's mixed his shots up very well. I think he's probably comes from a striking background. So he's got BJJ fighting background so, uh, and MMA, so interestingly, uh, if you, he was asked who he would like to fight outside the UFC and he said, Hulk Hogan. I wonder what rules he'd fight out under, whether it'd be uh, WWE style rules he, or... He uh, interestingly had um, an issue with Hulk Hogan's hair. Uh, he's fighting a bald guy so maybe he's not too upset about this. He's still working away his uh, he said he, he, arm punches. He said in his interview he was going to uh, look for a submission, but I think we've seen the uh, how much damage he's done with the strikes. I think he's decided that, that is what he's going to work on. It's definitely the best game plan in my opinion. He, he, he's managed to tire Tez out enough to secure positions on the ground yeah, as well as fighting stick, the strikes. Stick to what's working. There's no point changing it. If he ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, and Tez really isn't liking this as some uh, terrible grimace in there's the, the 10 second uh, marker. He's really taking a beat into that ball. Oh, he could be giving his back here. No, and that's time. I don't think we need to uh, ask who we think won that round anyway. No, that was a very dominant, uh, dominant round. Still Darren not, uh, hardly breathing at all in the corner, looking very relaxed. Tez a little uh, less so. Yeah, when Tez was asked outside of MMA what the sports and hobbies you have, he said uh, the usual, partying and socialising. I think he'd probably have rather been in the gym than partying and socialising at this point. I'd agree with that. I think uh, the uh, fitness training and, and maybe some more conditioning to the body might have helped. Yeah, I think uh, Darren's instructor Simon Hunt, uh, John May and all his training partners from KLF 
have had um, they've put the work in for this fight and this is definitely showing it's coming out for the third and final round now Darren definitely looking the fresher of the two fighters let's see if I uh, heard some long strike sharp uh, sharp strikes here and what do you think I'd agree with that I'd like to see uh, Tess come and fight back and uh, try and get a submission on the ground maybe right hand straight to the face there uh, Tess tilts it out and I think it was accidental I think with the uh, with the height there I think he tried to punch it when you punch him downwards the head can get in the way Tess looking for the uh, takedown he's, Darren's got the underhook to defend well but he's got that take oh and he just slipped at the last minute there Oh look here, a good takedown attempt that, um, and nice to see Tess go for it, he's obviously tired. Yeah, I think that was tiredness more than anything there. He's in, uh, in half guard. Tess on the bottom, he's got um, one of the legs trapped and triangle. This is um, a position I'm not too keen on because if the, if the guy on the bottom triangles the leg on the, this side, well he's out of that. Now, it does mean that the, uh, the fighter can't move though and isn't looking to improve position, just hold in half guard. Yeah, he's restricting his own movement, isn't he? That's right, yeah. And the referee stands him up again, this is good, good referee in there. Keep, keeping the action going. Take the attempt in a double leg, good, good sprawl by Darren. That was a, that was a really good take down, defense, and, uh, take down attempt and really good defence there. I think. Both fighters doing well, but Tess needs to keep driving, keep driving for that leg. Everything he's got. It's a last ditch attempt. Good reversal by Darren there. Darren should maybe there. grab an ankle here and uh, look to turn him over. Tess still going for it, and he's, oh, got, well that tape, he's got that tape down. That, that, I think that was everything he had, and that was a really good work there. Darren looking calm and composed. I think he's going to start to look for an opportunity to stand up using the cage. Ted's staying nice and compact on the top. Darren just staying relaxed. We can hear the corner of Darren um, giving good advice there. Simon Hunt and John May from KLF Martial Arts know what they're talking about. And a stand up again there from the referee. Let's out in the fight. I think Darren's going to go for these strikes. Tez is wanting this on the floor. Oh, good, uh, good ninja roll yeah. reversal. I love the ninja roll. And then some uh, ground and pound to those ribs. Darren's secure side control. He looks a fairly competent fighter for, um, for a debut fight. I was just going to say, he's, he's got his hips down nicely in his positioning. Striking look clean. He, he knows when to change up from um, punches and kicks. I think all in all, that, that's the final bell. I think we're looking uh, very good fight there from both fighters. Very, very dominant performance from uh, Darren Sison though. And uh, but I was uh, impressed with Tez. He stayed in there till the end, even getting that take down close to the end. But a win there for Darren Sison, I reckon. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a massive round for both warriors. Come on. Thank you. 